Senior High, and you're watching Friday Night Football on KATC. Hey. Is right. You're watching Friday Night Football. How about Play of the Week nominees time? Sponsored by the law offices of Blaine Barrio. Our first play coming from OC Drake Gidry to Chris Brown, who's lit up but keeps his feet and scores. Seth, what can Brown do for you? The dude's hurt, and he still caught that ball. I love it. Amazing. Play number two comes from Westgate. They were driving. Brendan Landry hooks up with Danny Lewis, who makes the great sideline catch your cousin? for the first down. Yeah, that's you cousin. You claim all the Lewis's. I claim all the Lewis's and all the Seths, too. That's, that's cousin right there with the great catch. Our third play from STM, and honestly, uh, well, okay, let's do this one, actually. This is going to be the run from Kieran Davis, who plows his way through the defenders. He stays on his feet, and he just keeps on ticking, folks. Kieran Davis is a fantastic young running back. I look forward to seeing him grow. Now you know the routine. Voting now until Sunday night at 8 on KETC.com. We'll then name the winner that night on KETC's News at 10. Well, let's talk about our headlines of the night, Seth. What a huge win for Turlings tonight against St. Martinville. I think that's one of the schemes we both think very highly of Turlings, but we both think very highly of St. Martinville. What a big win today. It wasn't just a win. It's a blowout. Yeah, it was a very big win. You talk about Larkin Spring with four touchdowns, over 200 yards, I believe, in that game. And, I mean, it shows their firepower because I can tell you right now, St. Martinville is not a scrub. St. Martinville is a team that is going to make, I would expect, to make a deep run in 4A. And so for uh, them to be able to get a victory like that and put up points like that, that is a really good sign for Turlings. Okay, Seth, I actually got ahead of us. I don't know what I was thinking. We got still more highlights to talk about, so we'll talk headlines of the, mo in the, of the night in a moment. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I, I, I don't know I, what I, I'm yeah, doing I, here. I, I Who like, knows? Right. Let's get in the highlights, Seth. We're not talking enough about Jennings football, ranked number one in Class 3A. Let's roll those highlights, Seth. Yeah, let's roll those highlights to Jennings. As uh, they would have a three-point lead over second place, Dog strike first on their opening drive. Bub Wildridge rolls out and finds his tight end, Clay Broussard, down the sideline. He's inside the five. Next play, guess who? Trevor Atien punches it in for the Dogs. Jennings up seven to nothing. Second quarter now. This time, Wildridge hands it to Jalen Lewis, and he knows what to do. Jennings pulls ahead 14 nothing, and the Dogs aren't done. Second before the half, Wildridge steps back and throws a bomb to Jacorian Palfrey. Do you remember that? You don't want to be a cat. You want to be a dog. You want to be a dog. That was, that was Coastal Carolina there. That was like Jen 10 years ago, <laughs> that right? Was, that was a while ago. Jennings gets the victory 42 to 14. Don't be a dog. You got Finally, Kaplan squarely on the 3A bubble playing Abbeville. You know who are the cats, I guess, in this case? It's Abbeville. Hey, it Sorry, Abbeville. guys. You are the Wildcats. Uh, cats down 14, nothing and a half, but a powerful run to Trey Green to the score that cut off, cut the deficit in half. But Kaplan answering with the methodical drive down the field. With the run play here, uh, and then we're going to see a little play action here from the Pirates. Uh, they're not the Dogs or the Cats, the Pirates. They're, there they are, the Pirates. <laughs> they're the Pirates. Uh, they're going to score here on the pass here in the end zone on play action. They go up 20-6. to six. Kaplan wins 30-20. to 20. Are you ready, kids, for Are scores from ready? last night, right? Yeah. Highland Baptist gets the victory aye, over Central aye, Catholic, 52 to 30. St. James, 61 to 3 over Patterson. Centerville falls to Hanson Memorial, 22 to 20. And then tomorrow, man, some really good matchups. Yep. Acadiana taking on Catholic of Baton Rouge in the 225. And then New Iberia traveling um, to Sulphur as well. Okay, now we're caught up to headlines of the there night. There we go. I won't get too far in front of us anymore. We already talked a little bit about that Turlings win, but let's talk about game of the week. St. Thomas Moore, Karen Crow. Look, we knew St. Thomas Moore had a very good chance of winning this game. That offense uh, is, is pretty unstoppable. What's your takeaway from watching that one? I mean, it's pretty incredible that they're able to put points up at ease like that because, you know, you talk about Karen Crow. Karen Crow has one of the best defenses in this area. They do. You know, they, they were able to shut out a West Monroe to start this season. Um, they slowed down other prolific offenses, and yet for STM to be able to, to do that, I mean, STM just keeps putting notches on the belt, right? I mean, just do. with the way that they're able to, to win these games. I mean, we're talking about uh, Catholic 
of Baton Rouge, and they already have a win against them, too. They do. And so, I mean, it's just – and I, I remember talking to the guys uh, during our uh, Acadiana kickoff tour, and they had a goal of going undefeated um, before the season. You know, those the losses that they took last year, they really took it personal, and they really had a goal this year of going the distance. They still have a few games to go, but, man, it's looking good so far. And just because Karen Crow lost does not mean they will not still play for a championship. Okay, as Seth said, a couple more great games tomorrow night. But for that's it for tonight's show. Seth, uh, I'm, I'm peaking the next Friday night, though, already. Lafayette and Acadiana just earmarked that as game of the week now. Two top five teams playing for District 3-5A title. It should be a fantastic. Let's cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. We need it to happen. For Seth Lewis, Brandon Aldridge, I'm Andrew Clay. Have a good night.